Hello everyone. Uh, just a quick update here. Um, my little prototype bed. Uh, I guess the star of the show has been this cucumber. It's about five inches long. Uh, it only looks bigger than that because I have girlish hands. Um, I've got flowers on the cucumbers everywhere. Flower, flower, flower. Some of them don't have flowers. I don't know why. If anyone knows why, let me know. <laughs> um, but that's uh, it's already getting bigger than I anticipated because I uh, had a lot of delays on the greenhouse. Uh, which is uh, another thing. Uh, I've had great temperature differences ever since uh, I put more pond water in. That I've been just kind of tracking them. I don't know if you can see that. That's the temperature difference. 42 degrees, 45 last night. Um, the lower the temperature gets, uh, the more difference there seems to be. So uh, there's the outside temperature. It's uh, well, it's been cold here in Minnesota. 25 degrees the other day, 17 just this morning. Um, so that's all fun. It's practically snowing inside the greenhouse, though. It's kind of weird. Maybe I'll show you another time. Um, I moved all the tilapia into the 125 gallon tank. Um, so that's cool. There's my pleco. Bought that beast when it was about two inches long. Um, I've uh, got a new male too. Um, put the other male over here um, because. I feel like he wasn't uh, acclimating well to the 125 gallon as well as he should. Right now he's fighting with another male for dominance. Um, it's been kind of weird having four males on this side. They've been... Uh, I don't know if he's fighting for dominance or trying to mate with him. It could go either way. You can't really tell. You can't really tell in real life either sometimes. Um, with humans. So, this is uh, the new male. It's different than the first one. Not the same Brad Pitt one as last time. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to name him. I'll figure out when I see more of his personality. Uh, I put these 4 inch PVC pipes in there to, uh, I don't know, give the female some privacy when they need it. Also to uh, recreate their natural habitat. Um, so yeah, uh, those are the roommates, two jewel cichlids that are too beautiful for me to get rid of. And also my little cute Fisher, He's, uh, he just kind of minds his own business. Um, I did have another batch of eggs recently, but it was like a half batch and none of them got fertilized, I don't think. Swoop over here. Um, but yeah, in the egg tumbler, there's... I put them in the egg tumbler even though I don't think that they got fertilized. Uh, because as the deed was being done, um, another female thought the eggs looked rather tasty. So uh, she ate a lot of them, and I don't think the male had a chance to actually fertilize them. So now I'm 0 for 4 in the egg department. That's cool. Um... God, that's beautiful. Um, yeah, this male is very confused. He's uh, used to being over here with his uh, friends, or more than friends. Who am I to judge? Uh, these things you see floating around are potato skins. I put them in there the other day. Um, I think the Malaysian trumpet snails have eaten them more than the tilapia, though. But, uh, well... Not sure, but I did put a broccoli stem the size of my fist in there yesterday, and I don't see it anywhere. Um, I gave these guys some broccoli stems too, but they don't like their broccoli because um, they're fussy children, I guess. Um, I think if these guys were to fight, the uh, 
convict would definitely win. Because, uh, well, if you've ever had convict cichlids, you'd know. Uh, but then, uh, also, um, I brought this guy in from the garage last night because I don't want to work in negative 20 degree weather. I guess I'm a wuss. Uh, my pregnant wife helped me bring it in. Don't judge me. Uh, my brother built this because this is the one thing of this whole project that I did not trust myself to build. Because if it were to break, it wouldn't be funny with all the gravel and water bursting open. So he built it like a tank. It's extremely heavy. Uh, today, tonight, whenever, I'm going to get the pond liner in there and all ready to go. So the next step would be to bring it out to the greenhouse out there um, and then drill some holes, do some plumbing and get some uh, testing done uh, but yeah that's that's kinda what I have going on right now um, well there's the uh, here's the bell siphons that I built it's, uh, one for each bed three inch and then uh, the standpipe which is actually kind of interesting Instead of uh, a reducer on top to increase the amount of water going in, I just used a heat gun and uh, heated up the end and then pressed it against an orange juicer to get uh, that kind of cool funnel thingy at the end. So, I don't know, the more pieces and parts that you can eliminate from any process, the better. Uh, an engineer told me that once, and he seemed like a smart guy. Um, I still have to cut these, but, uh, these aren't actually PVC pipes. They're in the same section as PVC pipe. They're six inches wide. Um, they're called something else, but same function. I just gotta cut them. Got all the holes drilled. Um, managed to finally wear out my drill in the process. Uh, so, that's pretty much it as far as, uh, what I have going on. Um, maybe next time I'll show you the greenhouse. It's literally snowing in there. The moisture on the roof is falling of its own accord into flake form. Um, oh, and then uh, I have a green bean somewhere in there. Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's an actual little green bean. It's a little black on the end, though. I've, I've been kind of not doing too well with the pH because I don't have a cover on my uh, 20... Uh, just 29 or 27 gallon, I forgot. But I don't have a cover, so the water evaporates pretty quick. And my tap water pH is 8.6. So when I replenish this, I don't quite have the proper uh, amount of uh, pH stuff to add to it. So, you know, trial and error. Um, but yeah, kind of uh, excited that I can grow things. The only thing I've grown in my life besides this is hair and fingernails and teeth so that's all and uh... post if you have questions and stuff and that's it, bye